I got in the classroom and nobody was there. As an RA, I applied all of the nails. Why am I not a cut? You're the cut! You're the fucking cut, bitch! Today is Monday, January 15th, and I am starting my vlog. I am using my new camera, my Sony ZV-1F. I got it for Christmas. Everyone say, thank you, Mom. I have to wipe my camera off, and I don't know. Oh, it's right here. Thank goodness. I am going to be vlogging my first week of classes for my spring semester as an RA. And today, I am going to be putting on my press on nails because y'all know college student, balling on a budget, baddie on a budget, y'all know how it go. And I have my first duty night as an RA. But right now I'm finna go get some food because I haven't ate anything yet. and. If I'm gonna be, you know, doing my nails and doing duty nights, I need something in my stomach because when I get hungry, I get irritated. I get irritated with everything. It doesn't matter what's going on. I'm angry. Also, because I am an RA now, I have my own room. I have a private. Y'all probably like, why is she holding her camera like that? Why don't she just use her tripod thing? Because I'm about to go get food and I want that big ass thing in my bag. Actually, my bag is pretty big. I'm gonna put it in my bag, y'all. I'm gonna put it in my bag. I have a private though. I have my own room. So happy. I loved my old roommate, but like having a private is just so much more relaxing low key because I can come back and not talk to anyone. And I just think that's great. I'm gonna go get some food. I'm gonna go get some food. And don't worry y'all, I'm gonna get a new mic for this camera because I know it sounds kinda echoey. So yeah, don't, <laughs> don't worry about that. y'all that view was very very beautiful i had to give y'all a shot anyways like i was saying the bags is acquired is acquired i have my food i have my drink going back to my room to eat hold on look Ooh. as our lives change from whatever we will still be Friends. So I'm gonna chow down on this burrito and then I'm going to cut to when I'm doing my press ons because I want to show y'all exactly how I do my press ons. Did y'all enjoy the montage? I hope you did because I was really on top of it. I was really on top of it. I had my camera out, kept turning it on and off, record, stop recording. Like I was, I was doing my thug dizzle on that one. <laughs> Hey. We're back and I'm gonna do my nails. So first, obviously what we wanna do is get the nails that match your 
nail size, your fingertip size. After you pick out your size, what you want to do is get a nail file. Now, if you're doing press-ons, usually they come with this little filer. I don't use this for my actual nails. I use like my own. I have like a big nail filer and I'm just gonna file down my real nails a little bit. My real nails are all filed, so I'm gonna go wash my hands. I got this little kit from Walmart, it's a manicure kit. This is the cuticle thing I'm talking about, but um, there's one that also comes in the pack with the press-ons. And I'm just gonna push my cuticles back a little bit. Not only is my SD card running out, but my camera actually is slowly dying, and I have a floor meeting at 6, and it's 5.08. So we are really on a time crunch. But I pushed my cuticles back, so um, I'm doing all this to make the application smoother and make them look more real and not so much like press-ons because you know when you look at someone else, you can tell they're press-ons. I don't like that, so that's why I'm doing this. Next step is you're gonna wanna get this little filer that they put in the pack and you are also going to file the press on nails down by a little little bit but yeah I'm just filing the press on nails and you won't actually see me doing all of them because again camera and SD card anyways I filed all my press on nails down it looks a little ashy on the inside now which is how I like it now is for the application I use this little pink nail glue that they provide in the thing because it works for me like once I file everything down and push my cuticles back the nails stay on for quite a while for me if this nail glue still doesn't work for you then I do recommend getting like a separate nail glue just make sure it's from the same brand you have your nails from so I have kiss nails so if I wanted to buy separate glue, I would buy some KISS glue. If you have LA Colors, then I recommend buying a LA Colors glue, just so everything is working to the best cohesibility. So I put a little bit of glue on my real nail, and then I just like move it around like that, just fully cover it, like so. And then I am going to press on the nail to my real nail. Line it up, press it on. I'm gonna hold for a few seconds. I'm like putting a lot of pressure on it. I don't know why I'm shaking. And yeah, that nail is not moving. That nail ain't moving. And you probably have like some excess glue coming up from the sides. You can just like wipe that off with a Q-tip or whatever. But yeah, that's how I apply my nails. That has always worked for me. It has not steered me wrong yet. Okay, um, I have two minutes left on my SD card, but I applied all of the nails. They look slightly crazy right now because I had some glue malfunctions, but the application was smooth. I was moving a bit faster than I usually do during this whole process, but I just want to say after you've applied all your nails, that little like tab area at the top just just file that off, like just go ahead and gently file that off. After you get done gently filing all these little things off, you want to put a clear coat of nail polish on top of your press-ons, just so they look more real and natural and like salon worthy. I'm not gonna do that yet because I have to get ready for my floor meeting and I have to change this SD card, so I'll see y'all in a little bit. So I didn't record my floor meeting because I didn't want to make anyone uncomfortable, but it was really good. It was really cool. Um, they were laughing at my jokes and my demeanor, so that made me really happy. Um, I think this is going to be a good semester, um, a good job. I like my residents. They're all super cool, super funny. Yeah, I'm going to tidy up my room a bit because it's not junky, but it's like kind of cluttered right now. And I have to be at the RA office at 8 o'clock. It's currently 6.26. So I'm going to chill out for a little bit. I don't have much I need to do. I just need to put my... I don't like this lighting. I'm going to have to change it. I just have to put my classes inside my phone calendar because I have everything important that I need to do or attend in my phone calendar. 
And yeah, that's all I'm going to be up to. I'm going to put the clear coat on for my nails. And that is about it. I have a good feeling about this semester. I'm super, super duper excited. Before I forget, this was the fit for my floor meeting. I just wore a sweatshirt and some pajamas with the Crocs on. Got the crocky dockies. All right, I'll see y'all at eight o'clock. Hey, I'm done with my first duty night. Um, dumb rounds was very, very easy. This patrol basically is what I would call it. Um, I'm tired as hell though. And I have to wake up at 8 a.m. because my first class on Tuesdays and Thursdays is 9.30. I don't know why I did that to myself, but that class better be like extra interesting because if it's not, <laughs> that whole getting dropped, I, I can't lie to you. Maybe I should keep it to like learn discipline and so I can like just get in the routine of waking up early because that's a psych class and psych classes are hard to get into at the school. So I really shouldn't drop it but I might have to jump that shit, not gonna lie. Sorry. Oh man, it's like tilted. I ain't talking about them towers. Uh, that wasn't funny. I'm gonna go take a shower and just get ready for bed. I'm gonna tidy up real quick, probably sweep up the floor for the one time. I have my nails on. I was gonna wake up early to do a little bit of makeup. I still might do that, just not as much makeup as I was planning on doing and yeah i'm gonna pick out my outfit for tomorrow i'll give y'all a fit check in the morning but i'm freaking tired and it's time to set my alarms and go to sleep with that being said i'll see y'all in the morning so i was gonna give you guys a morning montage of me getting ready it was gonna be real aesthetic bada boom but fuck that. I couldn't go to sleep until like 3 a.m. And I had to get up at 8 a.m. Which I didn't get up at 8 a.m. I got up at 9 a.m. And my class is at 9.30. And it is currently 9.22. So it sounds more like I'm going to be leaving my building at 9.30. Um, <laughs> picture that. Picture me giving bitches up. Fit Jack. Fit check. Nothing too crazy. Just got my bag, Michael Kors jackets, Michael Kors boots. Yeah. I'm finally ready. It is 9.45. I'm debating if I should even go because like, that's so fucking childish. <laughs> like, honestly. Like, I'm gonna be in that class for less than an hour now. Because I'm so fucking stupid. How could I do this on the first day of fucking class? Like, what? It's the first day. Yep. College life. <laughs> I, I can't even say it was my time management on this one. Because I literally could not go to sleep. Like, I don't know if I need to buy melatonin or what the fuck. But, uh, it's rough out here, y'all. Like, what the hell? I hate today. My life is so sad. I got in the classroom and nobody was there. Well, it was two other students, but the professor wasn't there. Meaning, I was so late that... I missed the entire class. And I've been sitting in this bathroom, touching up my face, contemplating if I should just end this vlog right here and never record again in my life. Or go back to my room and hide for the rest of the day. I'm highly upset with myself. 
Hi, Editing Jana here. So, just to save you all the time, I sat in this bathroom contemplating my entire academic life. I was feeling very defeated, very much like a failure, like I couldn't do anything right. But don't worry, I pulled myself together. I did continue the vlog, obviously. And I think it's important that I just learn from my mistakes. Like, yes, I couldn't sleep, but maybe I should manage my time better so I give myself at least an hour to fall asleep or just simply make some adjustments. Don't worry, I am okay. Don't feel sad, or if you're not sad, don't feel pity or sympathy for me. Like, yeah, we've all been there, so if you're judging me, shut your fucking mouth. But yeah, I'm just gonna move on to the next segment. Thank you. So, funny story, I went to my history class and um, he started going over his like course uh, objectives and breaking down everything for us, which was all cool, like I wanted that professor, but he told us that that class specifically did not cater towards the P3 history credit. and. That's all I'm trying to do. Like, I just need my liberal studies history credit so I can be done with my liberal studies. And that was actually a humanities class. So I sat there and I switched my classes. I'm taking another one of his classes, but it's like something different, but it, it counts towards my history credit. So I just left early. I ordered my food through our, um, App. We have an app for our school. I ordered my food. And I'm about to go pick it up, eat my lunch, go back to my room, charge my camera. I'm going to need another SD card really soon because my two hours is now one hour and 29 minutes. Um, hmm. But yeah, that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go pick up my food. I might eat in the cafeteria just to see if I recognize anyone, if I can set up like maybe a little lunch a day on these days and then yeah i'll be back in my room realize that today is Tuesday meaning tomorrow I'm supposed to upload and I do not have that video ready so um instead of just sitting here for about an hour I'm gonna start editing that I mean I already started but like it's nowhere near finished I think so <laughs> I think I'm going to have to change my uploading schedule because I'm a student again and I'm an RA now and you know just college life in general mixed in with my own personal life. Uploading twice a week is going to be something that's definitely going to be something. I'm going to try it out for this month and see how it goes mixed in with my schedule. If it goes well, then we will continue on our regularly scheduled program. If it's getting too stressful or just too much for me, then I will um, be changing my uploading days. But we're going to see. Nothing's guaranteed yet. We're going to have to wait and see. I'm going to start editing my video on my bed. I'm going to catch y'all when it's time to go to my new history class because it's supposed to be at 2. I'm going to sit down and eat for a little bit 
and I'm gonna make my way towards the basketball thing because I do want a shirt. Like, I want a shirt. I don't care.
what was your thoughts about the game? Um, it was really good. Number one's really good. And um, I think it was number 28 on the other team. You suck. <laughs> good cats. I'm very disappointed that we lost the game, but it was a good game. I think it was a good game. Yeah, it was really good. And I also did uh, really like number one. He was like the star. I said it in one of these videos. I pointed yeah. at him. He was, making, he was the only one making the threes. He was doing good. Yeah, and it was, it was so surprising because he's, like, short. Yeah. Like, like I knew he would be a good point guard, but I never thought he would make that many threes. But he's, uh, he kept us up there. He did. Well, I'll see you later, Molly. Enjoy your nasty Papa Tots. <laughs>